This is how you would solve the second example problem from the double digit multiplication video. I'm going to do this two separate ways, but first I'm going to clear my calculator, my abacus. And so the problem we're going to be solving is 34 times 29. So I'm going to do this first the way that I find quicker, but not easier. So let's do this one first. First we're going to form the second number on top, 29. And then for every, excuse me, for every group or every bead we have here, we're going to form another group of 34. So let's start. 34, we have one group. 34, we have two groups. 2, move one bead over. 3, 4, 3, we have three groups of 34. Let's do another 4, 4, 3, 5 groups of 34. Five groups of 34 now. Four. Six groups of 34. Seven groups of 34. One, two, three, four. Move one beat over. Three. And we have now eight groups of 34. We only need one more to go, two, three, and there we go. Now we have cleared our red row. And since we have done that, our ones row is complete. We are now going to ignore our ones row and move up to the greens row. So this green tens row is now our theoretical ones place. And this tan tan hundreds row is our theoretical tens place. We've got to do two groups of 34 because we have two beads. So we have one group, four, three, two groups, four, three. And so our answer is, oh, added one too many beads there. There we go, 986. And so 986 is our answer, and our abacus should look like this. The other way I'm going to show you is a lot longer, and I'm probably going to fly through this one pretty quick. So let's write down our equation on top, 34 times 29. So on this side, I'm going to make any notes I need, and on this side, I'm going to keep tally of how many groups of 34 I've made so far. Let's get started by clearing our abacus. Four, three, there's one group. Four, three, two. Two, I could write down two here. Three, four, add a bead, and three. There's our first three groups of 34. Now let's continue. We've got a lot more to go. So four, three, four, three. There's two more groups of 34. Four, three, and four, three. There's seven groups of 40, 34. Eight groups of 34. Nine groups of 34. and 10 groups of 34. At this point, we have 34 times 10, which would be 340, but we want to continue because we want 34 times 29. So we've got 4, 3, 11, 12, and we got to move a bead over and move the green row back and continue 1, 2, 3, 4. That's and 3 and it's our 13th group, 4, 3, 14, and 15. This will be 4, 3, 16, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 
3, 18, 4, 3, 19, 4, 3. And you got to add one more and move these back. 20. Getting there. So now we've got nine more groups of 34 to add. As, as you can see, this has already taken me two and a half minutes, and the other one took me two and a half minutes total. So the other way is quicker, but this way can be easier to understand. So I'm going to keep going. Nine more groups of 34. Four, one, two, three, four. That is our 21st. 22, one, two, three, four, three. That is our 23rd. One, two, add a thought, 100 bead. Three, that's all I need. Three, and then four. That was our 24th, and this is our 25th. Almost there, four more to go. All right, four there, three there, four there, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then three. That is our seven, 27th row, 28th row, and now we have to add four, three, and I missed one from earlier. And so this is our answer, which is two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six. Our answer is 986. There's a lot more work on this page. There are a lot more places to mess up with this version, but you get the answer. And so because the answers are the same, they are the same equation, same way to get the answer. Your answer is 986 and your abacus should look like this.